wanted to create a quick video on how to create materials tests for the lasers for the X Tool series. Uh, a lot of people ask questions about, uh, hey, I got a new material and I want to know what settings to use. There are some settings inside the interface. Uh, I have found some of them don't work exactly right. I mean, lasers are lasers, it's electronic. Some may work different than others. Got some new materials in today and uh, wanted to show you guys how I go about the process of testing whether or not a material is going to cut and how quickly it can cut. Different settings that you can use to get a materials test set. So uh, we've got some quarter inch MDF. I've never cut quarter inch MDF on this machine. So we're going to give it a try and see what we can do. Okay guys, we're gonna go over to Creative Space now and create our matrix to get this set up. What we do is we insert a shape. I like to use the teardrop shape because you can get a rounded surface and you have a flat surface so you can kind of see what both cuts are gonna look like. Makes it easier to determine uh, which speeds are going to work best for both of those at the same time. So I'll drag that in and I'll size it down because I don't want to use a lot of my material. So let's cut it down to about 10 centimeters by 10 or 1 centimeter by 1 centimeter. Um, 10 millimeters obviously. Um, so what we do is now that we have the, our, our image in here, select it and we're going to go to cut. Now that we have it set to cut... The machine knows that this is going to be, or the, the program knows that this is going to be an array that we're going to create for cutting, not for burn, not for engraving or scoring. So um, make sure you select that first, then you go up to array, materials test. We know we're going to be cutting, so it's going to be higher power and lower speeds to get through the wood. Um, if we were engraving or scoring, then we would, you know, it'd be faster speeds at, and not quite as much power. Uh, so what we're going to try to do is we'll leave our max at 100. That's a good max, uh, max score. Uh, I usually find that anything below 70 is not going to cut. So we're going to minimize ours to 70. Uh, and I wish it would cut at 300 millimeters a second, but I guarantee you quarter inch, quarter inch MDF is not going to cut at 300 millimeters a second. So we're going to drop that down to 10 and then make our minimum probably five. Uh, so then now we have the opportunity to determine how many different tests we want to do. That's what this column and rows does is it will break this into percentages of the power and uh, increments of the speed so we can bump it up we can decrease this um, I generally try to do about seven just so that I get a good uh, a good incremental step for each one so we're going to do that let's cut the spacing down between them just a little bit to tr try to conserve material don't want to waste uh, material that we can be creating um, product on so now that we have our materials test set up we can switch over to the laser and get the board on the laser and get it cut. Guys, now that we've got our board and the laser, we need to measure to see how to set the focus. So we'll hit the auto measure button. Let the machine drop down and test. Once that's complete, then what we're going to do is we're going to mark the board so that we know where we can put the uh, the test on the board. So now that that's the uh, distance is set, we'll hit start marking. We're going to choose a rectangle and then hit start marking. This is one of my absolute favorite pieces of the S1. Uh, makes using material that has been used so much easier uh, so we get it in the corner where we want it we hit the uh, mark button slide it down to the bottom corner get it lined up and hit the mark button again and once that's done we hit end marking you see that this is the size of the board that we're going to be able to cut on so I'm going to take the cut file Throw it up here in the top left corner. 
once we have it up there and we're, it looks good to us, let's hit framing to make sure that it's not going to run off of the piece of wood or anything. Uh, this is really just kind of a safety test for me, uh, just to make myself feel good about where the laser head's going to end up. So hit it, hit the button on the front. Framing looks good, so we're going to hit framing complete. Now to start this, we've got to shut the lid, so we're going to go ahead and shut the lid on the laser. If you do not shut the lid, the S1 will fuss at you and tell you that you need to shut the lid. So once that's done, we're going to hit process, hit start, file gets sent over to the laser, and now we hit the go button. Guys, one thing that I will encourage you is to make sure during this process you stay with the laser. Uh, it may take a little while longer, but some of these settings you don't know 100% what's going to happen. Um, when you're, especially when you're cutting wood, make sure that you stay with the machine and we don't see any flame ups or anything like that. With these settings that we have here and us cutting, we should be fine. Uh, but like I said, I always encourage you to stay near the laser to make sure that uh, you don't get any flare ups. So here we go. So now that the laser's done cutting, we can open it up and look and see what we've got. As you can see, several of these are cut out. Actually, more than I thought would actually be cut out. Um, before we take this out, though, I like to save these for future reference. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick one of these that we know is cutting. So we have six at 90. So we're just going to put a box around this and cut this out again. So let's close the laser up and go back over to Creative Space. We're going to put a rounded box around this because I like that because it makes the edges not be sharp. When you start cutting acrylic ones, the corners can get real sharp and I don't want anybody to get hurt on the test file. So we'll just create this and we're going to tell the laser to ignore the test pattern now. So we'll um, uh, set that to ignore and then we're going to choose the outer box and we're going to set it to cut and we're going to use our 90 at six like we just determined from the file i'm going to lower the focus because this is a quarter inch so it helps to cut through this thicker material if we drop the focus of the laser a little bit so uh, now that that's done we're going to process this again you can see our square we're going to hit start and hit the button and let the laser go back to work So now that the laser has finished the cut, let's open it up, see if we can get this out. It's looking really good to me. Oh yeah, that popped right out. Oh yeah. You can see some of these are even popping out with just a barely a press. So once we've determined that, guys, now we can take this, we can keep this, and we know where we can cut quarter inch MDF. Uh, this is always a good thing to keep around. Uh, you can actually set these settings inside of Creative Space if you want to save it, but you can save this card too to refer back to if you ever need it in the future. Guys, here's a little close-up of the cut file that we did. Uh, you can see places where we stopped. So we would, to set your settings, you would just pick the power that worked the best and the speed that worked the fastest. That way you could batch these things out quicker. Um, one thing we'll show you real quick is after you've determined which one you want to use, uh, where you can set that in creative space.
Okay guys, we're back over in Creative Space and now we're going to take the information that we have gotten from the cut test that we did and actually set a manual user setting inside Creative Space so that we don't lose that uh, if we have ever lose our test file. So what we're going to do is click here and we're going to go to cut and we're going to set the best parameters that we see from our cut file. I liked, uh, looks like 8 at... 80% worked really well. So let's go 8 and I'm sorry, 80% and then 8 speed. One pass. And we're going to leave the lower focus on because that allowed us to cut this a lot quicker than if we had raised the focus on this quarter inch. So once we've done that, then you click the button here, name it. We're going to name this. I have multiple lasers, so I and it doesn't keep track of these per laser, so I named them by the laser. So we'll call this S1 quarter inch MDF and save that. Now that setting's there, so the next time we come in, all we have to do is create an object. Say we're going to do a rectangle cut. Go to cut and choose S1 quarter inch MDF. And now those settings are automatically put over there on the, um, on the cut for you. Guys, thank you for joining us for this short video on how to do a test file. Please don't go out and buy test files. You see how easy it is to set up a test file and to cut these out. Do them yourself. Uh, if you want to buy them, let me know. I'll create them for you. You see how easy it is and you can pay me to cut them. <laughs> Um, but yeah, don't go buy them. Just create them yourself. Uh, there's also Lightburn will do these files too. And if there's enough interest, then I can show some Lightburn stuff as well. Uh, hope you guys have a great day.